episode 109, airing at 15 minutes to 10 on Wednesday, the 18th of November. Good morning. Barry Beer with you on a greyish start to the Wednesday, and I hope that you can join us here in the studio for two great episodes today. And the first of them this morning will be um, preparing for summer and, and the beach. Now, we already talked about the beach on Saturday and sunburn, but for those of you that missed the video on Saturday, okay, preparing for summer, like your clothes, your bones and, and sunblock and beach umbrellas and buckets and spades if you want going to be on a sand cart. And joining me now in the studio for episode 109, good morning to my offsider, welcome to the show today. Good morning everyone and thank you for subscribing, tuning in this morning to listen to Barry. Um, so let's just get glued. Get a cup of tea and get excited because we have a lot of things to share today. Thank you. Okay, well, we'll open the show. Okay, preparing for summer. Okay, summer is coming up in about 12 days from now, if I am correct, mm -hmm. because it is the 18th of November today. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so. This is the last couple of days of my spring series. So next week will be the last Wednesday of the spring series. And then following that, we bring you the summer series. Here's my offside of five opening sequence on this. That's correct. So today is the 18th of November and summer starts on the 1st of December. So we've got less than two weeks. It's about 12 days more for us to start. Um, and it's already hot. Um, on Monday, it was over 30 degrees. So Barry is just going to talk a lot more about how to prepare and get ready for summer. Okay. Some. We all like to go out and have some fun during the summer months, but guys, we'd like to say to you watching and having a cup of tea this morning, please slip, slop and slap. Wear good sun cream, guys. 50 plus sun cream is what you need. So if you... Pick some up at your chemist now, and here's my oxide. That's correct. So there is a lot of different brands of um, sunscreens. So pick the 50 plus sunscreen. Make sure that you use them. You use them for your children, your family. Get one in your car all the time and get your mindset ready to start using sunscreen. Now... Sun protection is very important, guys. Please be mindful of that. Is my oxide. That's very correct. It can cause damages to your skin and lead to cancer. So it is very, very, very important to get glued onto a very good sunscreen. That would help you save a lot of money trying to get help for your skin. Okay. This morning on the show, we are also going to be talking about not leaving children unattended in hot cars during the summer months. And that's coming up in a minute. But the sunscreen, guys, you must, we repeat, we must have sun cream on at all times. 
I ain't been on a cladding day. Keep my option. That's correct. We should have, as he said before, must. We must have our sunscreens on at all times. I would suggest you keep one in your bag, you keep one in your car, and probably one at home. So you don't have to be running around looking for the only one. And it's not expensive. The one that I personally use is $12.50 from Chemist Warehouse. So there is a lot of options. There's even cheaper ones that you could buy. So sunscreen are very, very affordable. So don't risk it. Just get three, one in your car, one at home, and one in your bag. And also, put a tube of sunscreen in the side door of your car in my option. That's correct. And also in the glove box. Or in the first aid kit, mm -hmm. sun cream. Mm -hmm. Don't forget it. Here's my offline. That's correct. As I said before, make sure that you keep them in your car, your bag, and in your house at all times. And remind the the kids as well to um to put their sun cream on, and the most. Important thing, guys, is, can you guess what I'm wearing? Okay, it's a hat. And why must we wear a hat? Well, we have the answer for you right now on the show. To protect our head and our ears. Is my offside. That's correct. The um, it's just so important to put that away, and you also need sunglasses as well. So with the sunscreen, with the hat, and with the sunglasses, the three would really, really help you and save you from getting any skin damages during the summer. Well, skin cancer is the word. You're looking for here. Mm. In my offside. That's correct. Skin cancer is real and it is happening all the time. Be aware. Okay. Another thing in summer. Okay. We need to keep hydrated. Mm. In my offside. That's correct. Water is love. Water is free and it doesn't cost a thing. Here's my offside. That's correct. Water is life. Water is free and water stays. And the more we drink, guys, the less dehydrated we will become. Here's my offside. That's correct. Very, very true. So just going over those important topics again. Okay, sun cream, hat, and your sunglasses. That's correct. So three things, sun cream, hat, sunglasses, and a bottle of water. And your zinc as well. Yeah. Here's my offside. Perfect. Hold on. And, and, and if you are going to the cricket this summer, which we'll talk about also in this bumper edition of the show today, behaving in public and on public transport. That's all coming up later on the show. But now on the show, it's time to talk about not leaving your child in the car. In summer, it is really dangerous to leave any kid in a locked car during the summer months with the window wound up and there was no air coming in through through to the car. Here's my offside. That's correct. There is no air coming through the car. You cannot have any chance to leave your children in the car during summer. 
and it is a right place to not do that. Kids can die in hot cash. Here's my offside. That's correct. Um, there were statistics that has been shown in previous years that every single summer there is incidents of children dying because parents, some parents are negligent and they've kept their kids in the car and they died out of it every single year. So don't be stupid. Don't be a fool. Don't leave your kids in the car. For goodness sake, this is a message that I would like to, that my offsider and I would like to give to you this morning on the show. Please don't be an idiot and a fool. Even if you're just going to the shops, take your kids out of the car, bring them into the shopping centre, give them a nice cool drink, to keep them cool and their body cool too. Here's my offline. That's correct. Just as Barry said, we cannot emphasize on that enough. We just cannot emphasize that enough. Because it is wrong. It is illegal. Please don't do that. You will be caught. We cannot say this enough. You on the show. Here's my offside. That's correct. So if you are going to go to the shops just to get some milk or bread or dinner for tonight, please bring your child in, keep them cool, give them a nice block or an ice cream or a cool drink to cool the body down. Because if you leave them unattended in a locked vehicle on a sweltering 38 degree day, that being a neglect, it's, it's neglect. Because you can't go in and play poker machines and leave your child in the car. That, that is wrong. Here's my offside. That's correct. So if you get to the shops and you are even going to get one thing, take your children with you because you cannot leave them stuck in the car in a 38 degree or 40 degree temperatures. That's unacceptable and you can't be arrested or sued if someone takes a photo and send it to the police. That is unacceptable. Uh, and if you say any suspicious activity, please call the police. Mm -hmm. Here's my offline. That's correct. As Barry has always said in every single video, triple zero is your best friend in case of any suspicious or in case of any emergency. He has stressed that and stressed that and stressed that. Triple zero, call. If you see any person leaving their children and running off somewhere, let someone know because that's not acceptable. Because you just can't do that. To take us into the break on the show, do not leave your keys in the ignition in the car. Do not leave any valuables in the car like your keys, your money, or your credit card, or your beach towel, or your spades or buckets in my offline. That's correct. You cannot leave anything in your car. Anyone could get in and steal something or take something that is very, very precious to you. So just be mindful and honestly use a bit of common sense. So please use your common sense, guys. Please. Use it. Think. Think before you act. Here's my offline. That's correct. Barry has always said it. Triple zero. Think before you act. And don't be silly. And do not let the kids 
fly around with the automatic transmission or a handbrake because I could accidentally send the car rolling down the hill in my offside. That's correct. And honestly, there have been situations before in the news that we all have seen or heard that some parents left their children in the car and left off with the ignition on and the kids had to move the car and they got into an accident. So please and please and please just be mindful. Just use your common sense. Just act like you think about yourself and your children. Put yourself in your children's shoes before you make any decision. And please, don't be, don't be spiteful. Don't disorize your children by leaving them in the car and don't smack them. It is illegal. Mm -hmm. It's my offline. That's correct. No smacking them. It's illegal. So try and try and try and do the right thing. Just use your common sense. And don't lose your temper either because we know it's getting towards the end of 2020, ladies and gentlemen. But so the message that we'd like to end with before we go to the break, please think, think about your actions. Okay, think, am I gonna have a good day today? Am I gonna be okay to handle all this? Is my offside. That's correct. Think, 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 as Barry said, very important point. Think before you act. Think before you act. Always recite that in your mind, in your brain. Think before you act. Be your motto for this one. So there's still plenty more to come on today's show. We got we might uh, and don't go away because we we're going to be talking about Christmas after the break. So so do join us. There are plenty coming up on this double edition of today's show. Here's my offline. That's correct. Just. Get your cup of tea, relax, and we will talk a lot more about Christmas. There's a lot of ideas that we would like to share. So please relax, watch all the videos, and you can send comments under the comment section below. And if you do have any questions, Barry will be more than happy to answer all your Christmas questions. Thank you. So the time is three minutes past ten. We are off to have a a tea break now and decide what we're going to do during the break and then we will be back with you to bring you episode 110 don't go away do stay with us because we've got another big show coming up for you today and it's Wednesday, the 18th of November. Do stay with us. Here's my offside. That's correct. Do stay with us. As I said before, please subscribe, share, and share to your friends, family, your work colleagues. Share this video. Put some comments if you do have any questions. As I said before, leave it down on the comment section below. And Barry would be more than happy to answer your question. So there's still plenty more coming up today on the show. This program is proudly brought to, brought to you by Barry Dale. And we are, our sponsor today is, is, is uh, Lenovo. And this is what I bring, record the show on, Monovo Computers. So stay with us, guys. Don't go away. 
We'll be back with you shortly. Stay with us. This is episode 109, episode 110, coming up shortly. Stay with us.